Welcome to another episode of Cardi Kitchen. Well, today we're going to be making some gnocchi. And here are the simple ingredients today. You're going to need about two, two to three russet potatoes. These are about the medium size, all right? I bake these in the oven for about, I don't know, about 40 minutes. You want them soft, right? And then I peel them. And then you want to make them like you're making smashed potatoes, mashed potatoes. So, so this is about two cups of um, uh, potato. Then you got one and a half cups of your flour, one egg, and then a little bit extra flour for, for kneading and rolling the gnocchi. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, mix, mix the ingredients. Put your potatoes in there, put your flour in there, and your one egg. No shell. Remember, easy on the shell. Wow. There was a little bit of uh, little little twins in there. We got twinsies, but that's okay. And then you just want to mix it. Now, the in key ingredient here is you don't want to over mix because then you'll make the gnocchi um, too firm. It, they'll they'll come out. They won't become out pillowy. But you want to get this to where it gets clumpy. And you can take your potato and put it through a ricer uh, if you want to. I didn't do that today. Uh, I just putting everything in here. The potato is pretty soft and um, And you just want to push this down to the edge of the bowl And once you get this all mixed, then you're gonna put it in a nice uh, You're gonna take it out of the bowl obviously and then you're gonna knead it a little bit for just about a minute And then we're gonna cover it and put it in uh, put a towel over it And then I'll show you how to roll the gnocchi All right, so you kneaded your dough for about a minute, and it should look like this. It's gonna be a little sticky, which is what you want, and that looks really good. You just put your little ball right there. You take your towel, you wanna cover it up because you wanna keep it moist, and then uh, you're gonna clean your, clean your surface here, and you're gonna add some um, flour, and we're gonna, show, I'll show you how to roll the gnocchi, how to cut it, and then we're gonna come on over here. This is the, uh, boiling water that I've already prepped and now I want to add my tablespoon of salt because uh, anytime you cook pasta you want to have put salt in your in your uh, water um, and then uh, we'll uh, come back and uh, do some uh, in yogi cutting okay so you got your dough rested right we're gonna add a little flour to the top here because we need to uh, roll a little bit this is uh, a gnocchi board but I'll show you how to use this, but you can just do it, you know, uh, do the ropes. Then you want some parchment paper uh, so your um, gnocchi can rest on here. So what you want to do is you want to just kind of grab about the size of a lemon, okay? And then you take your, your ball here and you kind of just roll it in the, in the dough, I mean, excuse me, in the flour. And then you just start rolling it out. You want to make this a rope, about uh, three quarters of an inch thick, okay? You just keep rolling it out, start from the middle, work your way out. And if one side gets a little bit bigger, then just kind of go back to the other side, but you want to keep it in the flour because you want to obviously doesn't you want it to stick to your hands. And once it once it's all rolled out like this, looks pretty darn good. Wouldn't you think, Kelly? Looks great. All right. Then what you're gonna to want to do is just cut these about three quarters of an inch, okay? Now you can keep your gnocchi just like this and they'll look like little pillows. And if that's what you prefer to do, that's great. I mean, that's, that's totally up to you. And most people don't have an gnocchi roller, which is fine, which this, what this is. But if you do have an gnocchi roller, or if you want to use a fork, you can take the back of a fork and just press down on it. But here you just, you're gonna make sure you have some flour on your board again and it's got the lines in here and that's what makes the cool little design and you just push your thumb in roll down and roll it and then you just let it fall and you can just set it up here like this all day long and once these are rolled oops uh, we're gonna go ahead and put them on the on the uh, parchment paper here and let them let them rest Okay. Now, if you're not going to cook these right away, that's fine. You can bag them in the freezer. We'll get these rolled out oh, and make sure you keep your dough covered. I forgot to do that uh, because you don't want it to dry out, right? Because it's, it's, uh, it's important that it doesn't dry out. 
and you just again you just keep rolling them and just let them fall actually this is kind of relaxing and once you get a rhythm going they just kind of roll off for you and we'll get these all together and we're going to cook them up and enjoy some gnocchi tonight okay coming down to the uh, nitty gritty here and uh, the water is boiling and ready we've got uh, some in the bowl over here ready to go into the uh, nice hot jacuzzi and uh, cooking in yoke is pretty simple you put them in there and when they start floating they're done and you'll see that here uh, momentarily okay all our gnocchi is ready we're gonna go ahead and come on over to the uh, the water we've already added our salt and we're gonna go ahead and just put your gnocchi inside remember it's boiling hot water so don't let them splash too hard and um, I just get a little stir here and just kind of move them around for a second and let the hot water do what it's going to do. And as you're watching that, they'll start coming to the top here, which is going to be wonderful. Okay, and as you can see, they're starting to boil, uh, pop up here. These are the ones that are done. You just take them out, let them drain a little bit, and just stick them into the uh, bowl. And now, you can serve this with your sauce right away, or I'm going to show you what I do. I put these in a frying pan, and um, I'm going to add my pesto, and then sprinkle it with some cheese. Uh, I'm going to add a little, uh, not only pesto, but some also tomato in mine. I, I, I do enjoy those like that. And, uh, and then serve. And these are going to be light, fluffy, and delicious. Okay, so you got your pan. And what I do is I pan, uh, pan tossy, so a little bit of olive oil, right? You take uh, some of your yoke, a serving size, about that much. And you want to take a little bit of your pasta water. That's uh, real delicious. And then you take the fresh pesto we made from the previous... Um, the previous uh, video and you sit here and you just toss this in there and then I add a few tomatoes to the pool here and just let this cook up oh the smell again the smell of vision they keep telling me they're gonna send it but they haven't yet and uh, this only takes a few minutes because the pasta again has already been cooked but now we're just putting it on the grill we're just tossing this a little bit and you can see this uh, it's uh, pretty much ready to go now again it depends on how long you want to keep this in here now you can bake this but I highly suggest putting this in a pan and getting it fresh just like this and that's what we call a serving so you come on over here to your fresh bowl you put it on there like that. We're gonna take our uh, Parmesan. And I, I'm telling you, if you guys, I wish you were all here just to smell it. And then you wanna add your grated cheese, fresh grated cheese here. Oh yeah, there we go. And this is Inyoke with pesto sauce, a la Cardinale. Okay, and there you got it. Uh, Inyoke with tomato and pesto a la Cardinale, right? And of course, this is, you know, the best part of this, right? And he, that pillow is just sitting there waiting for me to take a bite. Mmm. As you guys know, delicious. I got to tell you, the pesto has just absorbed into every little pillow. These are light and airy and delicious. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna serve a little bite to my wife right behind her. You're gonna hear her reaction. There we go. She just took a big bite. How is it, Kel? It's delicious. <laughs> well, thanks again, you guys. Another Cardi Kitchen in the can, and I appreciate uh, all you subscribers. And again, uh, please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.